Dude, what do we starve? That's a really the hardest game. part. It's all, it's all, yeah, it's like writing an essay. The hardest okay. part is the beginning. We were definitely a... at the base. I Oh, we started after Maven told us his plan, and we were like, hey, we're going to try our own. That's Ooh. where we started, I want to say. Uh, so we kind of flipped up between uh, one plan and the other. Uh, decided to maybe uh, clue at, at least uh, Martin and Victor in on our sort Martin? of indecisiveness. Not Martin. Oh my god, he's Martin's dead. Channing. <laughs> Channing, thank you. Uh, I was like, I mean, Martin, Martin's Martin, back? Martin, like, hey, bud, the second help. coming? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Channing's kind of like the great value Martin, right? Oh, man, that's the service of both the characters at the same time. Bruv. No. Well, Channing's got, like, personality. And a heartbeat. Oh my god. If we're we have... lacking one of those. So, oh, if anything, even though Martin came first, Martin's probably the great value, Channing. I if there's saying. a picture of Channing, the, ca the caption should be, we have Martin at home. And that's, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, but regardless, yeah, so, so Channing and Victor. Um... I, I don't I don't recall if Jericho uh, told Victor about uh, Maven's original plan, uh, but I know that uh, Clint did so, tell. Him, I didn't again, Victor Channing. like like you you asked the year one or like you were telling the year ones like like go and get ready to head out and then like you like you got mega incited by oh yeah um by Victor. Mm -hmm. No telling what he learned from that, but. True. That's not for me to know yet. Um, so, uh, what, what, what did Channing offer? Did he did he say anything, or did, did he was he just clued in? Uh, Quinn had asked him like, but like where he's feeling, what's his, where his thoughts are in the current situation, because again, Channing is sort of like the heart of his class, and you know, Channing was like, you know, because we're gonna go to a village, right? Like a Dustin village. He was we uh, he was asked about. You know, dude, are there any insights you can offer? Are you okay with going along with this? And then he's just like, you know, there are always monsters lurking about in the dustlands, and the ones that came to my town and killed my town are the ones standing right here. <laughs> so it's just like, you know, that's uh, that's fair. <laughs> can't can't deny any of that. But you know, he doesn't have the, I don't I don't want to say tenacity, but the ill intent to do anything bad at current. So, but, you know, nothing particularly gained except, uh, you know, getting an idea where Channing's at, which is valuable. Yes. Um, Jericho, uh, again, didn't clue Victor in on Maven's plan directly, at least. Um, but he did ask if Victor had any insights on his uh, fellow underclassmen, uh, to see if, uh, any of them might have some uh, ability or knowledge that would help us uh, traverse the landscape more uh, efficiently, quietly, what have you. Uh, and he was like, Oh, yes, talk to Naya. Uh, she can fucking move the water. Um, and, and he walked over to, to Naya and was like, Hey, you can, you can move the water. Uh, you're going to do that. And she was, that was like, a pretty good, Victor. Bet. Um, and she also called him weird in her special Dowie way. Uh, and he's like, hey, thank you. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, what is it, like, you're, yeah, a yeah. To... you're a wave that goes back or something like that? Like, I forget Which is basically the same thing, you're an impossibility? Yeah. You yeah, had to go yeah. ask uh, Poe what it meant. <laughs> he laughed about it. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> think about um... it, brother. <laughs> you never see a wave moving backwards, do you? Oh, well, well, actually, well, once the white crashes, they do kind of retreat back into the ocean. You, th the you think you would know that? Uh, oh, and then he also asked, um, uh, oh my god, god, there we go, <laughs> um, uh, if he could use his burrowing ability uh, to some uh, effect. Um, he can, he has tremor sense, is what I gathered, uh, so if, um, uh, we're being snuck up upon by the uh, uh, stoats. Sickle stoats. Sickle stoats, thank you. Uh, then um, he can let us know uh, the signal that we decided on is, uh, uh, you know, devil horns. Um, 
and also if there's any uh, uh, earthy uh, obstacle in our way, he can uh, dig right through it, clear the way for us. And then I think, I think that was it. I think that's all, all I asked. Uh, but yeah, what happened next? Uh, we reconvened and told Maven the new plan of action. Um, we did ask if Maven was, you know, able to help, and he made himself uh, at our disposal, uh, particularly. But he was going to undertake a mission, like keeping tabs, not really distracting, on another creature, the real threat, as he put it, which is. I don't know how to describe a quadrupedal. It sort of looks fiendish to, to me, at least. I think that might just be a white chitin, like uh, red herring, maybe. But regardless, it is lurking out there, and it's it's so much of a badass that it could lurk out here alone and not really be affected or hounded by anything. So yeah. So he was going to keep tabs on that while we handle the earth axes and everything. And I think he is so doing it. That. I think he said he might try to draw some of the Eurofaxes that come he, after him over to its area. Yeah, he, he is still doing that, but he's not going to be willful for us to kill the Eurofaxes and stuff, is what I'm saying. Um, He did give us a map. He had done some mega forward scouting and like was able to get a uh, walk around in the village. So we have the maps for that have a general uh, idea of what the layout of the place looks like. Um, he was sort of singling people out when he was talking with them. He did it initially with Quinn, but I noticed he also did it with Jericho. So, who knows what's up with that. He gave Lucian grenades. He did give Lucian some cool-looking nades. And afterwards, we, we set out. We traversed in silence up the river coast. Uh, some of our presence being masked by louder than normal river tide. And we managed to make it to a, a checkpoint. A place to get some rest. Uh, in the meantime, while the rest was happening, some of us split off to go check out a ritual site, but not that sort of ritual site. A, a much more normal ritual site which was a big carved chunk of obsidian with a bunch of bodies chained and shackled around it <laughs> with a, a death not the more normal one hmm the more normal one yeah yeah the more normal one it's it's more oh. normal than the, the time temporal static ones uh it had a cool flower going at the top of it with a symbol and a body inside the obsidian with a banner. And, you know, we did our examinations of it. Uh, got some rough autopsies, I guess, of the people that were brought there. Tongues cut out, shackled there for the sickle stones to go nibble at. Uh, the deaf blossom flower feeds off of life and while well, the bodies that were dying next to it probably gave it plenty of plenty of life force to go grab at. Um, we did get, after some dual action teleportation and very careful approximation, the standard of the Resolute, which is apparently a, uh, Huatichi banner. At least that's what was disclosed. Um, something that Clint knows, he told Lucian, is that there is a lone Huatichi operative somewhere around here. Uh, so I have the I have the banner or the standard right now. I'm not put I'm not showing it off in any way, shape, or form in case the guy's watching. He's just like, wait a minute, that's my granddad's banner you have right there. What the fuck? So you know, hopefully we don't run into him, or if we do run into him, hopefully he doesn't realize we totally stole his banner and swapped it with a pair of pants, the jester's pantaloons in specific, and. Then we regrouped with the resting checkpoint people. Uh, Bradford talked with Erica, and we got a fun realization that what is the most soul-crushing thing to a person with so much pride and vanity in their research 
is the cosmic insight we got teleporting that about our own insignificance in the universe. Yeah, so she's having a little bit of a mental breakdown. It's fine. Just it's a fine. small panic attack. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, maybe it'll make her nicer to everyone. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah. After that, we re-readied our kit. Some of us were pretending to eat, uh, ready our kits anyways while we were eavesdropping. And we were ready to head out. Um, there is a plan set up for, um, as Jacob brought up, from Maven to lure out the Earth Axes. And then Goddard and Grimwald can shoot a shot in silence, ideally. And give, I guess, Captain Maven a one-time get Joe free card. Because... Grimoire can turn his crossbow into the equivalencies of a fucking ballista and shoot very, 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 very far. Of course, the catch is he has to make the shot in silence, the effects of silence, like the spell, because shooting it is loud, but we're trying to cap what's on the impact point, not the firing point. At least, that's the hope. And I think that's it. Mm, seems seems interesting. Uh, anything else anyone wants to add? Why am I getting a call from? <laughs> I, I think that person does have to call on your phone. The fuck? There you go. Why won't he pick up? Oh. <laughs> who, the, who the fuck calls him? <laughs> He's getting a call from his other family. He's God, the... What the fuck? Gabriel 2, Classic. I told you not to call it this time. <laughs> They're just clones of direct clones of his actual family. I mean, it work That's why he's right studying now. medicine. Not. <laughs> work meeting. It was actually uh, Rick Sanchez. What the fuck? There's a lot of cloning in Rick and Morty. I don't know. Oh, okay. it, was, it was a failed joke. I think you only saw like the first two seasons. But which one? Uh, oh wait, no, I didn't even see the all the pickle Rick fucking season. So never mind. It's like his like study group or something in school being like, "Hey, oh, <laughs> yeah, you give me your answers." <laughs> you part of the homework? It was already completed before I was assigned. Welcome back. Well, that out. Okay. Yeah. Phone calls aren't coming through to my phone. Yeah, through voicemail. Oh. Eh? Their phone calls are only going to voicemail? That's weird. Yeah. Uh, um, do not disturb, not on. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Very strange. Hmm. Interesting. One has a screen recorder option, though. Uh, I guess, have you tried uh, updating your drivers? I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's <laughs> a phone issue. <laughs> I was about to update your skull with a dent in it. <laughs> so, anything else? Nope. Also, I totally deserve that. Nine months is a long time. Oh, yeah. So, you ended just grouping right as this. Your silence is getting. Your, you are resetting. Um, what do you do, if anything, before starting? Let's see here. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, going into this with no key points, correct? Because I have put sounds back up? Correct. Okay. Uh, then I want to uh, short rest after we get there. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Um, Get in position. Oh, Sit down for I'm 15 all, minutes. I'm all topped up, aside from key points, so I'm pretty good. Uh, let's see. I mean, short rest is like 15 minutes. It, if they're hospitable to us, the, the mole people over here, mm -hmm. we might be able to sneak that in, but let's not hedge your bets on that. The thing is, we, we don't know where the entrance down is. <laughs> That's a good point. Unless, did any of Maven's maps catch that? Or was he... I mean, yeah, I guess he wasn't really looking for that. So, I don't know if he did or didn't catch it. Uh, correct. I... No, they would not. So we actually got to locate where the, the entrances, entrances are. Correct. 
Correct. So what is your plan? Are you walking in there as is? We shouldn't just walk in there. Not without a plan. No. Goddard can locate the entrances. Right? Oh, that's a good it's point. Moose below the earth. We don't have we won't have to worry about stickle stones this close to the earth axes. <laughs> Unless those things are gonna be their own, our own distraction, in which case then shit, man, that's easy. Clint has uh, the psychic link up with Maven, so you could let him know when he's drawn him out. Yes. I have a question. Uh, oh, would my shadow clone produce footfalls? I don't think so. I don't think it's an actual tangible thing. It follows the same it uh, principles uh, design wise as. The Hound of Ill Omen. I don't know if the Hound of Ill Omen leads to a false. Okay. Uh, it absolutely out. does, because that's like an actual tangible dog. Woof. <laughs> you summon a good boy of Ill Omen. Uh, three. The Shadow Clone cannot be further than 120 feet from me, so the, the plant's set in the water. I was just going to have that go ahead. I mean, it literally does say it's a howling creature. So I well, assume. The Hound of Ill Omen is, but I, I imagine my Shadow Clone doesn't howl. <laughs> I mean, I, that you know, that's also you. You're, you're, he's your clone. <laughs> is he a freak? He represents but my yeah, animalistic he, side. The, the Hound of Ill Omen, like, I think will use stuff, so. Yeah, it, it's it's indicating strongly that it's... Yeah. It's like more physical. Right. Uh, so, yeah, it would. It's a moot point anyway because it can't go ahead of us. Hmm. Hmm. I see. I see. Would the silence get us like just here, or would it get us like over here, over here, like, or would it stop like right here? No, it'll it'll get you to the the ruins itself. Okay. Because this is thing, this is a little bit harder, like you know, but you're taking the riverside path and then just have to cut through a little bit of uh, foliage. Right. So it shouldn't be excessively challenging. Goddard doesn't make that much sound underground anyway, so we could just start sending him ahead now. Again, I'm not particularly worried about Sickle Stoats getting closer and closer to the ruins, personally. Agreed. And then he can find where the entrances are, so by the time we get there, like, we already know where to go. Mm -hmm. And you, do you have him on the uh, tech link? Yep. All right, very good. It's me, by default, Maven, you, him. Up to prof bonus. So three. Are you rolled for how long this last fright? Um, you know, maybe I didn't. <laughs> this one, up. I know you did one more recently. I don't know if it's this one. Is he silence? You know, I don't think I did. It's off my list. Um, so you have a short rest that you could reset it potentially. It would just uh cut even out of it. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'll, I'll just roll right now. And, and it'll be a one. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, Good call. no. Damn. <laughs> How long does it take for us to get from where we are to here currently? Would you just say roughly? Because this might already have run out. No, I mean, it would under. It couldn't take more than 10 minutes because that was your silence. That's why you stopped. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's a good point. All right, so we're, 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 we're fine. He's maybe we it's a for a fair chunk of time. Yeah, we got right. yeah, the 10 plus the 15 minute rest. You're at 25 now. Okay. So I still have half of it left. A little rough. I think knowing if the, if the entrance is like, if there's only one first off, that's one thing, but. If it's like over here, I like the opposite side of the ruin. That's gonna be way harder versus if it's like right here in the middle somewhere. 
mm. or like, or like, like right here. Or there's a hidden cave entrance over here. I don't know. So I say we just send Goddard to him, and then he can just let us know mm -hmm. psychically. Golly, this thing keeps wanting to pop out. Okay, as you make it to about right here, uh, you see Doran hold his hand up to stop. Does Doran have message? <laughs> he grabs the group of you to huddle up. Uh, the thing is about message, you still have to whisper. Yeah, right, yeah, we had this discussion noise. last time, right. It was Minor Illusion that was working inside. Minor Illusion. Yeah, that's correct. Guys, I'm doing a Minor Illusion. Like, good job. Yeah, so Jericho Minor Illusion is a question mark between his two hands. It's like Swift, uh, not Swift, so it's like Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> he gathers the group up and wipes a part of the ground up and scrawls in it. Indicating that he thinks we should split up into two groups from here. Uh, Jericho will, uh, minor illusion the word captains, question mark. Uh, hmm. Minor illusion, uh, an arrow pointing at Clint. Then minor illusion the words tech link. Yeah. Rug. He, as you're doing this, goes about making, displaying the plan. If you lure the, if Maven lures your attacks out, and that creature decides he's overwhelmed and doesn't want to fight, there's nothing stopping them from coming back and grouping up on you all as one. So in order to make it want to fight, it needs to think it can win. Mm -hmm. And if it's outnumbered so severely, there's a good chance it's going to get to the point it knows it can't. So if we send a group... Uh, here. We send a group here and or here you can do an interference right so not all the earth axes are going to this fight they're going this way and then getting shot and going towards one of these correct so only you're some pulling them um, exactly when they come uh, out uh, and they want to come back in they start getting harassed and disoriented hmm. uh and uh, uh, he's like kind of like drawing this map out correct uh, so, Kajerico, Minor Illusion, uh, one of these circles having a slightly bigger team. Absolutely. So, yeah. like, uh, the, easy, we have easy to uh, get a, point. So you could tell a, a bait team, them. but, you know, a, a team that knows they're the bait team, uh, have, make them look more appetizing because they're mm -hmm. slightly smaller, easier to take down, but then have the bigger team come in from behind, flank them. Yes, he does indeed have a plan for that. Well, he tells you Byron had a plan for that. It's the horseman. Indicating that Byron and Goddard are able to make a team that should, along with Caster, be able to run interference enough that they can buy time. Because of like high maneuverability Those slash and access three alone. Correct. Yeah. Just due to mobility. Right. Because one of them can go underground and become basically inaccessible. One of them has a horse that's fast as fuck, and one of them is caster. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty fast too. You are. Teams. In, in, in addition to that, up. or is the three of them the second team? They're the bait team and put everyone over here that can do anything on the harassing team. Right. So your has come out here for this fight. Bait team is here and your your axes split off to go attack bait team. Bait team brings them over to this and then everything goes there. And then a handful of your axes go this way. Is that what it is? 
Correct. Okay. And then the apex is alone, or the alpha is alone. Alpha is alone. Ideally, you keep him isolated. Once you send out the signal that he's down, they pull a full retreat into the woods. Right. Because they don't need to win the fight with the earth axes. They just mm -hmm. need to stall them long enough that we can kill this big guy. And when we pull back Correct. into the woods, they can't easily get to us because what are they going to do? Fly between the trees? Exactly. It might, might not even be that. They might not be able to find them. Because echolocation mm -hmm. into a bunch of pine trees would be next to worthless. There you go. Yeah, the and more they can kill, the I think the better it is. <laughs> if they can kill any of them. Right. So, but it is still a point of what we need to make sure that Alpha doesn't leave to go rejoin his friends. That might be sending a smart change to the point that he thinks he can win, but think he can win and can win are two separate things. So do like right. a like a miniature need to, version of this situation. We need to rig it. Does anyone have? Do any of the classes have the capability of grounding something? This would be the game for a druid, but druids also are dead, so... I mean, Flora has her stick him to the ground move. Ooh, true. It lasts for one round. Well... And they have to fail, I think, a con save? Well, if they if they fail it, they get grounded, and then take that's a whole round we have to sort of... Uh, interesting enough, if you can get it down, Rex can probably keep it down. Oh, yo! The dog can the dog. keep it down. All his attacks trip. Mm -hmm. But isn't the DC a bit low? No. What's the DC on that shit? It probably scales off Carolyn. Does it have a DC? It probably does. I figure it's like standard uh, Mastiff stuff, right? DC that is a respectable DC. Good. It's just a wild concept that's just like li little dog. Maybe like mm -hmm. a medium sized dog. I mean, you only like need to mess up one wing effects. for it to screw over the flight. That plan, is true. So. That is true. Yeah. Damn it. Hey, oh. what the fuck is uh, while we're on talking about this, uh, is it kosher that I can cast um, uh, Silvery Barbs if I take damage like I'm doing Blood Magic if I'm raging? Absolutely not. You have not learned that skill. Okay. Well, if I'm not raging yet, I can give him disadvantage to knock him down, maybe. Which is a very, very helpful. Uh, yeah. Caster doesn't need uh ground to be able to do his dash right so he, he could he could dash up onto uh your axis back if it's close enough absolutely uh and i think i can do the same uh as long as it's uh, six uh, you, that'd be known you might be going into this fight without any key points oh shit. yeah it depends, it depends on if we can get a rest right here or not uh and if not you know that's fine uh I typically just use my key points for two more attacks. I guess one more attack, technically. And I'll be all the way over here. I also use the Definitely. Heal, totally. 100% right. staying <laughs> right in this area away from danger, Mr. Clint. I'm already <laughs> grabbing Briggy's crossbow, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, uh, shit. You're actually staying out of the fight. I mean, out of the fight for something that could fly probably super fast is a very subjective thing. <laughs> okay, oh, I got a question real quick. <laughs> uh, was, at any point, would I have been able to fill out some spells in my spellbook or no? Not yet. You've been um, moving the whole time. Anyway, you couldn't have. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one thing I, I will say, though. So there's going to be a team sort of kiting them, is what I'm hearing, right? Correct. Uh, Goddard below ground so uh jericho will uh turn towards doran since it was uh i oh, know it was byron's idea wasn't it it was byron's idea originally mm -hmm. doran turn towards it. turn towards doran and byron um uh he'll minor illusion uh the that three-person team uh, a silhouette of uh a stick figure on a horse silhouette of a stick figure with flowing locks a uh, very small but buff stick figure um <laughs> and then it's just uh, a stick figure slap squatting beside them and a question mark above the the, th the four silhouettes like hey can i join you guys <laughs> yay nay uh i mean if you wanted to you could it'd put you out of the alpha fight oh shit true yeah that's kind of the trade-off yeah I, I was thinking about like oh yeah we're gonna we're gonna split the 
Uh, the Earth Axis, but I forgot that the Euro fight, the Alpha fight's gonna. Yeah. They we're got it. The Earth Axis to be split because we're trying to like get the PCs into the the Alpha fight kind of idea. Yeah. True. True. Never mind then. How uh, big then... is the Alpha Earth Axis? That was a very good question. Large or huge? I think it's huge. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than it's like little. It's like yeah. lessers, right? Yes. So okay, the other ones very... are large. Then. Damn, there goes uh, that. I was, I was like, I was like, what if Doran just built a box? Like, we repeat the Doctor fight. We just build a box around him and just keep him on the fucking <laughs> just ground. Bully him. Yeah. Oh, this guy's a four by four, and the other ones are three by threes. Okay. Oh, so he's what? gargantuan. It's a uh, colossal. A gargant. Gargantuan's the biggest. I thought that's colossal, right? Yeah, colossal doesn't exist in five. Not five A. Oh, what? Yeah, it oh, goes yeah, large, medium, large, large, huge. And then you have one. Yosef, who would be like size category Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> size category narrative. Matt. Okay, so he, we definitely won't be able to lock him down of Doran's um, force walls. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, it's so we just don't we'll have enough of them. Uh, is it on top of a building? I can't recall. It's on top of some set of ruins. They, they all roost on buildings, right? Because they're. Right. I was, gonna say bird. I was gonna say birds are not birds at all. They're more kind of like bats. Why are there craters everywhere? Sonic boss. They have the capability of them. That could make sense. Maybe this place was a war torn village. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there are I empty tank lines everywhere. Refresher. Yeah, so this is the front of the village. I like that they have mm -hmm. the little guard post there. Oh, and these are high grounds. These are low grounds because there's mist down here, but not up there. And then it becomes low grounds over there. There's a well there. Big tree. I, actually, fuck, that tree's gigantic. And Gargantua, even. It has a Lorax on it. And it's really good. This, re this is a really weird tree. If he speaks for that tree, he must be <laughs> shouting all the time. Uh, is that a cave? That does look like a cave. Or an archway. Looks like a cave could From a bird's eye view, yeah, it's it's hard to tell. If we have a suspicion that that might be an underground entrance, because it definitely looks too small for your thax to fit into. Yeah. We can yeah. tell Goddard to go check that out first. I second that notion. Uh, wasn't so that what you something... want to do? Is send him in ahead of time? Yeah. Uh, wasn't there well, something the thing... that was like? Well, I guess we had this map. Out. Just never mind. No, we we don't need to do that. But wasn't there something that were like uh the the people here were hiding underground away from they, the they live underground? Yes. Yeah, they come out when the attackers go hunting to go hunting themselves. Probably stands to reason well, to come out of there. If that is a. Well, that's what I'm saying. We could send Guard to go check it out. For all yeah, we just like, confirm. It goes what? down 20 feet, and then it's just like, welcome to the love <laughs> it's cave. A cellar. What? Guys, <laughs> roll an IRL mushrooms. investigation check. <laughs> okay, I lose. Uh, I got average. <laughs> this man got a minus. How do you have a minus three? Uh, I also. Uh, 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 I have an extra chromosome. Thank you very much. Oh, congratulations, man. What <laughs> next? We also don't know if the people that live here are going to be receptive to their ecosystem being messed up. They might like the Euro Yeah, so they might. They might we want should to tell... People do hate change, yeah. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll tell y'all later, then. Alright, I'll go. Yep. I don't think there's much else we could do. We should have just had Goddard dig a tunnel under the water, and then we could have just <laughs> tunnel ratted all the way over, dude. It would have taken like like two days, but we would have been queer. And then we could all get the tunnel fighter fighting style. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, Leona! Also, for Get no close, you can. Reason, Maven also gave you this herbal. Why is it so blurry? Oh, hey. Or is, just, or is that just me? That's a very ominous cave. Huh. Some kind of nesting ground. With a bunch uh, of this, um, skeletons. This is on the island, right? Earth axe looking things. 
<clears throat> that's all the I what the fuck is up with this cave then? So that's like this oh. little ruin section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How funny would it be if the the one in here isn't the Alpha Urethex? The Alpha Urethex is in here. <laughs> it's, it's over there. It's this actually is the like... size of this island. <laughs> There's all the beta Urethaxes. There's a char of the Urethax for a reason, and then there's a alpha. And then the Sigma Urethax is over here. <laughs> he doesn't eat meat. He he, he lives off of the fights. He's he's in black and white though. Oh. All right. So what do you do? He puts a lot. What of are the teams you're splitting up in? Assuming you're going with. Well, we should make contact first. And not everyone needs to go along to make contact. So maybe we could grab a short rest. Assuming it goes well, yeah. If they let you in their tunnels, you could probably do that. We're also going to reach a point where some people are moving about <sighs> without silence. So mm -hmm. the risk of somebody being detected goes up. We don't have any trees to hide around it in the ruins. Yeah. Not not pine trees. At least. We can still... We can still, like, hide behind things or hide close to things to try and pass off that we're just part of the wall. Mm -hmm. We could just go to that cave. We could just go to that cave. <laughs> hey, we could just go to that cave and rest in there because then we wouldn't be above ground at the very least, right? So... <laughs> And if that's the entrance to where the village is, then mission accomplished. If it's not, then free den. The, wait, the one I go. just just showed you? Yeah. I'm, no, not that one. No, not that one. No, 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 this, 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 this cave. The, the, the yeah, tree not the on super the... murder death cave, the maybe murder death cave. The tree cave as opposed to the island cave. So we need to death cave. cave. <laughs> <laughs> what is Maven's plan of escape here, by the way? Oh, right, they can... He's, board, he's, he could fucking teleport. Yeah, he he could just dip. Okay. Oh shit. Or he could just outright bad. outrun them. I don't know. I don't know, man. He's pretty fucking fast. Yeah, honestly. Because Healy's on. Three times eight, what? The Healy's don't work in the dirt. Are you block me? No. And the Black Watch ones do. <laughs> Special <laughs> version. Special... <laughs> they got all terrain tires. <laughs> <laughs> all terrain Healy's. <laughs> this is a tiny engine at the back. <laughs> 